play on Rank Play. Which is becoming my new favorite pastime. Seeing as how I'm getting into the competitive spirit, it is now a two on two. I will pick up this ASM one. It's Gamer on Grand Street. Ooh. Yo guys, what's going on? Xbox, Microsoft, whatever you want to call them, just put out their very own version of Scuff. And it is called the Xbox One Elite. Anyways, so what's going on guys? Gamer on Grand Street bringing you guys another Call of Duty commentary. And uh, today we're going to be talking about the new Xbox Elite controller. And it is a Scuff. That, that's what it is. Uh, broken down. The Xbox One Elite controller is a scuff. So, I'm going to read off this, this Alvira article, which will obviously be down in the description. Anywhere I get this information is always in the description. Xbox threw the gauntlet down with the announcement of Xbox One's newest controller called the Elite. The Elite offers a whole new experience for gaming enthusiasts everywhere. It is its remote compatibility, adjustable triggers, and mappable paddles that replace the function of the standard buttons. That is pretty cool. Um... If you guys all know that's what Scuff did, um, obviously Scuff has been a long time name, longer than obviously the Xbox One Elite controller, and pretty much this is the only time a party outside of the actual developers of this console controllers or whatever, this is the first time that that has actually happened where another product has influenced Microsoft enough to change their product as it stands. So, pretty much, it has four mappable pedals and a, I guess, expanded range of D-pad. I'll be putting the pictures up on screen. I'm going to continue reading off this article. The controller will come with everything you need to make it your own, and literally every aspect of it is custom customizable. Every aspect of it is customizable. The Elite controllers are universal with every game, and you can adjust the controller as you need on the go. You can switch from Call of Duty to Halo to Forza with a flick of a few buttons. Will you be getting this controller? No, I'm not getting this controller, and I'm going to tell you why. And obviously, again, the article will be down in the description. You guys can go look at the pictures, and though they will be up on screen, I'm not going to get this controller because I've never had a scuff. I don't need a scuff, I guess, would be the way to say it. Like, I I have my Xbox One controller, which I already forgot where I put it, which is great. That was just playing it. Um, I, I don't ever use a scuff. I have my standard... Uh, I'll put a picture up of, of my 360 controllers and my Xbox One, Xbox One controllers. I never used a scuff. I never found the need to go out and buy one, so that's why I never did. But I would like to know if you guys are going to be interested in getting this Elite controller. Will you guys be getting the mappable pads? I'm I'm betting it's going to be pretty expensive. You know, somewhere somewhere near the anywhere from like the $200 range would be my bet, something like that. Um, mainly because it has a Microsoft name on it and it. Yeah, that's pretty much like the only reason I can figure it. it's going to have Microsoft name on it. My bet's anywhere from $100 to $200, which is a crazy, outrageous amount of cash. Anyways, if you guys uh, would, if you guys like the video, I need to figure out my intro, outro better. I can't do it recently. I don't know what's going on. I'll leave a rating how you guys feel the video deserves. Comment, give me some constructive criticism. Let me know if you guys are going to be buying this Elite controller. Um, let me let me just hear what your guys' opinions are on it. I would love to hear them. And subscribe if you guys are new. Peace out.